Can see your low body get into her video and Jesse got the fire. You should be subscribing. You ain't know how to sing, right? Oh, you right, you right, you right. <laughs> Gosh, story archives. Um, I'm just trying to find the question, y'all, so that I can. My battery is low. Goodness, thank God we got spares. Like, how is it low? All right, let's change that. <laughs> I'm in frame, in frame. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Guys, I feel so weird and awkward. First of all, um, let me just, I don't even want to see myself because otherwise I'm just going to cringe and I'm not going to be able to do things. You know what I'm saying? Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's been ages since I said that whilst i'm sitting down you know what i mean it's been a long time so it's a pleasure to be here and it's a pleasure to have all of you guys watching thank you i've missed you guys so much and welcome back to my channel if you're already here and welcome back to my well welcome to my channel if you're new please make sure you subscribe leave a comment and like this video let me know if you're new here you know let me know in the comment section below all right so um first of all I don't know if you can tell something is, is something different. <laughs> There's something different about me. If you couldn't tell, your girl aged one more year. Ooh. Ooh. And 24, we got. We haven't got lip gloss on. We've got lipstick on. Um, who am I? Who is this? Anyways, I'm talking way too much. Ask me. I don't know why it's not focusing, but I said, ask me anything you want to know about Ghana. And thankfully... I had y'all ask me questions and I'm so appreciative. It's not, for some reason it's not showing like that. I think it's because it's a bit old. So it's just in that archive stage like this. I enjoyed sharing what I shared with y'all. Um, I think it was it was just a beautiful moment having you guys be on the journey with me. Um, it, was, it was a pleasure to be honest. And, and it was a pleasure having you guys. And, yeah i think you know these are videos that i can always look back on and just remember and what a beautiful country what a beautiful home what i made so many great memories there and it was all bittersweet and it was just so nice i will go again i'll do it again and yeah um thank you for watching and supporting and just being there you know you i saw all the lovely comments anyways Oh, this was more of a statement, but I never saw it. Sorry. Sorry to the person who asked me. They wanted to know if I can do a Ghana nightlife vlog. Um, oh, I feel like I should respond. I wish I could have, but I said I didn't go anywhere, y'all. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. Anytime we went out during the night time, it was just a little group of us and it wasn't like any like the night out i'm probably thinking you wanted to know however the night time was fun we just chilled to be honest like there was this bar in front of us and then we just went there even if we don't you don't have to drink like you can get fish <laughs> which i really like i don't know why i didn't get it all the time i only got it once and it was so beautiful anyways next time in there nightlife coming um <laughs> Someone asked me what is Sobolo. Okay, Sobolo is a drink. Um, <laughs> Sobolo is a drink. It's got ginger in it. It's got lemon. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's actually very good for your, your immune system. And they sell it in Ghana. And it's like frozen, like ice. Um, but not too much like ice. You know them ice that is like edible. Like them, like... Um, fluffy fluffy eyes I don't know I'm sure they has they have a name but I'm not sure exactly what it's called like that's kind of the consistency and it's it's gingery and it just tastes so nice it's good for your throat it's good for your immune system it's good for your stomach they they add something to it that makes it burgundy in color but I don't know what that thing is called but I just know it bangs and everybody drinks so bolo that's what's called um, someone asked me my top two meals I was enjoying the most oh my favorite is rice balls and granite soup that's my favorite meal um, it's been my favorite meal for a while and it's still my favorite meal so every time I had that I 
I enjoy it. I eat. And actually, my Ghana, talking about Ghana boys video on my channel, that's what I'm eating. I'm eating rice bowls and Ghana soup, which is basically in Chi, we will say a mutuo, which means rice bowls, and in cutting coin, which is Ghana soup. And delicious. The other favorite meal I enjoyed a lot. I mean, I feel like people that watch my video are going to say wache, which is that rice and beans thing I kept eating all the time. <laughs> Guys, it was so delicious. It was so, so, so delicious. I did enjoy anything with soup because I'm a soup babe. However, I really, really enjoy the rices I ate as well. So, rice bowl and wache. Right? Will you be moving there in the future if you do i am ready to come to <laughs> ghana 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 would i move to ghana in the future absolutely i think i will actually consider moving to ghana in the future if like you know if i ever wanted like a new sign yeah man you are you can come with me i will put you on i will take you with me you will eat healthy you will feel healthy i felt so healthy when i was in ghana even though I was eating so much, I felt so healthy in Ghana. To the point that I even lost weight. How? When I came back, guys, I had lost one kilo. Which is insane to me because I felt like I ate more whilst I was there than I do when I'm here. But I lost weight. You're more active as well. Yeah. What is the best, the best restaurant in Ghana? Actually, I didn't go to many restaurants when I was in Ghana. I went to like a chop bar, which is mainly places you go when you want to eat like proper solid Ghanaian food however it wasn't the nicest so in that case I would say Linda Door and which is a, a nice restaurant for like you know visitors etc and I went to this restaurant in um, called Seoul in Kibi um, which was so beautiful was, their food was really nice Ooh, ooh! someone asked me what are some hidden gems about Ghana um, I feel like everyone knows our food is good Oh, everybody knows our food is great. Okay, hidden. Oh, I don't know. Mm, I would say actually there is a lot of national parks that you can go to. I actually only thought there was only like a, a few in Accra, but even where I was living, like if you, you can imagine the surrounding. However, there was about two, I think, near where I was living. We didn't, we didn't get to go, unfortunately, but. Um, we heard about it and we wanted to go, it just never happened. It was really nice. So, and there were like there was water parks and you know, just a place to just go for walks and stuff. It was really nice. You could, there was actually a lot of hiking places because, as you can imagine, like the scenery is just so green everywhere, it's just so beautiful and green and green. And it's like you can hike to so many places. Um, yeah, I would say those are the hidden gems in terms of where I was from. If you we were speaking about Accra, there is so many hidden gems, but honestly, I'm not 100% sure because I didn't spend a lot of my time in Accra and I'm not, I don't know much about Accra like that. Even in Esiakwa, I don't know much, but because I was there, I got to learn much more. But because I was in Accra, I'm not sure where the hidden gems are, but I'm sure there's plenty, 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 plenty. Oh, man, someone asked me what is my favorite traditional food um traditional food traditional food again is the rice bowl which is the emuto um and granite soup or even um palm soup which is yeah palm soup is also very delicious with rice balls so i would say those are my well that's my tra favorite traditional food where did you visit first Ooh, where did we visit first i mean from the video as soon as we got to Accra, we went straight to the house and then the next day we went to the Accra shopping area, um, like the traditional market, to get a few bits. Um, but I would say visiting Nesiakwa is where we visited first. Actually, no, we visited the bank. We visited the bank. So when we went the second day and I was in that yellow top. We visited the bank that was quite nice to kind of see how things works a bit there um but then yeah the following day we left and boom we're in the circle and i never left until we had to come back <laughs> um do i have best childhood snack 
actually i've got one i thought i thought guys this was gonna be it let me show you guys i was gonna say this is it focused there we go this is okay if i turn around so you can see it properly this is um chewing gum and it's basically sweet chewing gum and i remember us munching these a lot when we were kids and so i thought it was the same and it technically it is however when i was a kid i remember that when you had them it used to change in color and make your tongue the color of what you you ate however that's not the case with these ones and yeah just like any sweet gum as soon as you chew it for just a little bit any flavor is gone and then it becomes dry and then you just have to get rid of it but it does not make your it does not change the color of your tongue which is what i wanted and that's what we thought it was it's still nice and it still kind of brought back a little bit of the memory i don't remember having this when we were kids so it says baboon what did i say ba baboon yes <laughs> I was about to say what did i just say um this is baboon and basically this is the sweet that i got from Ghana. i've been loving a lot this is how it looks like and actually it does what i wanted the gum to do so this changes color and it ha it gives you the color of it on your tongue in fact while we answer the rest of the questions let's have it and it's got a gum inside as well <sighs> i love it love it okay i think that was all the questions i got from instagram and then on youtube let me go on youtube has it started uh no okay let me keep going mm, okay i asked you guys ask me any questions you want to know about ghana etc five people commented just thank you so much okay the first question i got is were you living in a siakwa before you left or you lived in a car i mainly lived in a siakwa oh see is doing it <laughs> i'm like a baby when it comes to this i love it like i just like sweet that it's gonna change the color of your tongue i love it I mainly lived, I lived in a siakwa. Um, so, I lived in a siakwa. Um, I occasionally would go to Accra to visit because we had a house there. But, a siakwa is where the heart is. <laughs> um, ooh, I got the same kind of question from before. Would you consider moving back to Ghana full time? And 100% will. Um, if I was to get a great job opportunity there bye bye uk i will go and pack my bags i can't lie to you um this one is are you still in ghana unfortunately i am not if so when are you coming back to the uk i am already back into the uk love you love you love you i love you too when when you travel to ghana what did you learn for the first time oh that's a good question what did I learn for the first time? About Ghana or about myself? Ooh, see girl? Nah, that's a tricky question. Ooh. <laughs> um, what did I learn? I'm not sure. I learned so much, but I feel like most of them are personal. So, yeah, I learned, I learned a, quite a bit about myself. Um, but in terms of Ghana as a country, um, I discovered like a bit of the nightlife, like a tad. So as I said, like we went to this false bar and yeah, but it was just like a peek into the what like official, official nightlife would be like. Because I didn't grow up there, like teenage years and stuff. I wouldn't, I don't know anything about the nightlife, but that was interesting. Um, that one i can share but the other one like the you know the other personal stuff i learned those ones maybe in the future i may share them but ooh. <laughs> love your videos by the way love from vicky love you too 
thank you so much vibes with nikki i think she has a youtube channel so y'all should go subscribe vibes with nikki all right um what was the last question that's oh those were all the questions yay guys um i've actually turned my tongue blue <laughs> okay cool this was nice let me put this down this was so lovely um it's been a while since i i you know i came on here you like my earrings anyways it's been a while since i came on here and it's such a pleasure having to talk to y'all um i surely did miss you guys so much and by the way whenever i'm not active on here please 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 do check my community because i do post on there and try to keep you guys updated um currently i haven't been filming much because i've just been so distracted not distracted per se but i've been looking for a job so that has been that has proven to be difficult and as a result my consistency is just like oh but um some babies crying outside can you hear that stop please <laughs> um so i'm trying to get a job and then you know everything is just i'm starting to just yeah i'm feeling it right now so um yeah um i love you guys so much and honestly i can't i couldn't have had better people with me on this journey and it was my pleasure to share and i enjoy sharing whatever i wanted to share um but yeah just knowing that now i have all these beautiful memories that i can watch back on just makes me so happy and please if there are any videos that you want to see um please do tell me in the comment section below or you can dm me as well my dms are always open but i will prefer if you comment so that many other people who agree can like it as well and then i don't get the same dm about the same things um but i love you guys so much and i will be seeing y'all in the next video v Deal. Hoo, 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 hoo. Thank you guys so much, Trace Squad. Thank you guys so much, Trace Squad. Hey, Trace Squad. Trace Squad. Hey. All right. Bye guys, and I love y'all. Hold on. Bye guys. Ooh, this is quite sexy. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave with this one. Bye guys, I love ya. Bye guys, I love ya. Bye guys, I love ya. Mm -mm, mm. Hey, bye guys. <laughs>